day moving. Welcome back to the great outdoors, y'all. We are here to do some whitetail hunting. My goodness, an itch I've been waiting to scratch all season. It's November. It's November. We're starting to see a little bit of rut activity. Without a doubt, this is the best place that I've hunted so far this season. Uh, what we're gonna see tonight, most likely, best activity. I've done a little bit of public land. I've been trying to hog hunt. This is, this is it. Well, I spent last week setting up the new bow. We got the brand new Bowtech Core SS right here. This is what I'm gonna be hunting with. And we're going after some does. This is a Battle Springs Ranch. I've fished out here many times. I've taken uh, one deer off of this place. My man Petey here, he is, he's helping manage this place and he is, uh, he's gonna take us around and, and show us some spots that some deer are, uh, are showing up. So they got a lot of does, a lot of does. They need to take out some does. I said, I'd, I'd be happy to raise my hand. I said, I would love to, I'm wanting some meat. It's all about the harvest for me, guys. I absolutely love that. And uh, Petey's a big archery hunter, so he knows what's up. It's midday right now. We're gonna ride out in, and do a little bit of scouting, but we've got the saddle gear. So we can just kind of hop up in any tree that looks good. Tons of acorns falling right now. There's some feeders out here as well. So if things get pretty gnarly, we can always uh, get around one of the feeders and, and end up uh, getting some does. But I thought, I thought it would be pretty cool to try to find some, some oaks and uh, just try to get one up in a saddle that way. So let's grab the gear, let's get in the ATV and let's start, let's start scouting, man. I'm pumped, let's do it. Deer running off. Now these are producing tonight. You see, there's deer right here. There's a buck. There's a buck right there. 100 yards, 100 yards from the shed. Deer, deer running around. There's some oaks that are just flinging acorns right now. We had a big storm come in the last four or five days, so there's a lot of things falling out of the trees. There's does. There's does just walking around midday right now. Why do you want to get rid of does? It's a well, big question in, in the, the outdoor world. Well, I'm kind of um, I'm kind of different between your, your your main biologists that want to you know shoot a whole lot of does and get your ratio closer to two to one. I look at it kind of kind of like the bar scene. If you're a male going to a bar and there's a bunch of dudes and just a few girls, it's not the place you want to be. So I still like to have you know. A three to one somewhere in there that kind of ratio but if you get overran with does they're gonna your carrying capacity your food your feed's gonna get ate up too quick your fawn mortality is gonna be a little worse so you got to keep your population in check for the amount of land you have and the amount of food and cover and if you have an influx of does sometimes it'll affect how how they come into estrus as well and and then you know your rut according to that how your bucks are going to react so once you get that population in check to the right amount of does to bucks then you know things start leveling off better you'll have a more even kill rut it's land management it's keeping keeping enough groceries for the amount of deer you have you don't want to have malnutrition deer you don't want to have you know uh fawns being born and dying of mortality because their moms are, are sick because they didn't have enough feed coming in to the spring uh, so okay it's kind of like taking a little bass out of a pond yes for or sure stunted bass out yep. of a pond i think there like i said there's a lot of factors that go into it but for me as a land manager for this ranch my bigger deal is my health of my herd so i want to take out some does so that we don't have an overpopulated piece of property and how many does those you looking to take out uh, this year, on this 2,000 acres, we are looking to probably take anywhere from 30 to 40. Hopefully I'm going to help in that process. I, I'm, I'm hoping you are as well. <laughs> Load our feet good. Right in here. Let's 
We just scattered off some does. And this is literally where we cut down the bow dark. I remember that, yeah. There's a bunch of them. This is from Bodart Trees, guys. Oh, yeah. God, they're so nasty. It's already growing little runners. That's it right there. That's the stump. That's the stump that I, I made a bow from and, and killed a buck. That's so awesome. Oh, yeah, this, this place is full of them. Let's, let's tromp around here and see if these oaks are dropping. I mean, if they're dropping, there might be a spot you want to see it. Fresh tracks under here, guys. Acres. on her literally just saw a, uh, a doe getting chased in this new spot and there is a ton of foot traffic there's a food plot tons of oaks right over here there's a feeder as well so this is the spot that I want to hunt so I'm gonna climb up into this tree and just go ahead and Get the platform, get everything set up, ready to go. We might even just start hunting right now. I mean, deer, they're gonna be in here. So I'm gonna put the uh, the saddle on, climb up there, just kind of look at some lanes and see how it looks. Bye, baby. Go time. We're gonna go ahead and hunt, guys. We're just gonna go ahead and hunt. We got our uh, saddle set up with our sticks. Bow is already hanging in the tree. Look at this. Look at the amount of foot traffic right here. It's insane. Sid. So let's go. Guys, I just got up here. There's a pig right here. Haven't even knocked an arrow yet.
that buck got out of his bed and came straight under my tree. I've got two fawns in this buck right here. There's the button buck. I just need a doe. I just need a doe to step out. This is an amazing hunt. I've got these two yearlings just right to my left, so it's going to be really hard to draw. Me, me.
shot her low. There's another one coming. There's another one coming. That's why you carry plenty of arrows in your quiver. I can't believe this, but my GoPro, my hands are shaking. My GoPro died right after I shot that first deer. And then another doe came in, came right behind me across the creek was in front of some, it was over there in the food plot, but I had all these trees blocking me right here. And my, my shot, that arrow hit a branch and totally missed the deer. She came back. Immediately, I knocked another arrow and I got her. So I literally took three shots. The first shot that you guys saw, I hit the deer. down. I'm going to slide out of the tree. I got no arrows left anyways. Absolutely insane hunt. Definitely blood. Jeez, buried that iron wheel. What the heck happened? Blood, blood. 
blood. Blood, like juicy blood. Blood all over this tree. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Look at this blood. I mean that's that's gotta be alone. We might have two does down, guys. She just stood there like nothing happened. Oh my gosh, blood, blood. This is where that buck met up with her right here. Still blood, still blood. Still blood. Might have just got one long. I think that's probably what happened, guys. <sighs> what an insane hunt. We might have two deer down. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave an arrow right here. So I know. Petey's on his way. I'm gonna leave an arrow right here so we've got a little tracking spot. There we go. Leave the old iron wheel right there on the tree. I'm out of arrows by the way. <laughs> I shot two. So the craziest hunt of my life. Okay so you see one arrow right there. Uh, the first doe she came in like right here. I shot her right there at that tree. And she ran off like nothing was wrong. And then a buck met up with her. I was like, I think I hit her a little low, but I know I smacked her good. It's like 12 yards. But she was just standing there like, nothing, you know, nothing's fine. Then she just walked off with a buck. So I was like, I don't know, maybe I just clipped her low. So then another one comes in and then stands right there but I can't get a clear shot through the brush so I thought I had a clear shot the arrow hit a branch and completely like hit the branch up there just flew off she comes right back so knocked up again and I still hit another branch but it was good enough to smack her yeah she didn't she didn't go far at all so you find your arrow on that, that one yeah so I stuck it, I stuck it in a tree. There's a good blood trail. So I think she's dead back here somewhere. Dude, two bucks stood right under the tree. Good ones? Yeah. Oh yeah. One was like kind of bladed. He was a big seven point. Beautiful. And then he bedded down over there for a while. So I got to watch him. And then he came back and stood right under the tree. And I was like, oh my gosh coolest hunt ever. The blood's right here. And there's a bunch right here. Yeah, so... Alright. Comes up here. I think she takes a right. Goes in that way. You stop. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Blood here.
There she is. Damn, dude. What a... <laughs> Holy cow. What was that, like 300 yards? Let's go. <sighs> I told you she was going to hop that fence. <laughs> she almost did. Or did she? I can't. My eyes can barely see. Oh, my gosh. Petey. That was far, bro. Hey, man. Good shot. Good tracking. I doubled down. Dude, you smacked her, man. What you did was you hit, was that the side you shot her, that entrance? You yeah. You clipped front lung and maybe top of heart, or you might have hit top of heart. To me, that's a perfect shot, but from as high as you were, like if you're being yeah. picky, there would have probably been better. Yep. But I think it's just a touch forward and a touch low for how high you were. I told you, I'm shooting right. Yeah. And she was facing that way. Dude, but so. I would... I would mean I would never be mad at that shot. And the thing is, is we never lost blood. So yeah, I mean, good job, Dude. man. Two does with the compound. My that's my first deer out of a saddle. I'm pretty pumped. Hey, really pumped. Here. You see this? This is this is a road. <laughs> this bubba. is a road. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh man. Dude, I am so pumped. I have a little treat for you in the side by side. Shoot. I hope it's a cold pop. Yes, y'all. Oh my gosh, what a hunt. That was crazy. I, I only had one arrow left in my quiver and it was a small game point. Three arrows deployed, two white tail down. <sighs> Me and Petey just tracked this deer. I'm gonna guess at least 200 yards. The, the other deer went like 15 yards. So it just shows you, you know, shot placement and then the deer, you know, the deer itself. We're gonna go pick them both up, guys. Got meat for the freezer and we're actually going to uh, be hanging these deer here. I'm gonna come back. We're gonna do some aging. Petey does a lot of his own meat processing, aging himself. He knows some tricks I wanna show you guys for getting the best tasting meat possible out of your harvest. And that's the whole goal, so. Hey, got two, two bow kills tonight. That's awesome. And we got trad bow. We got trad bow coming. Oh, 12 yards. That was that first shot. I could have easily taken it with a trad bow. Top three hunts of my life. Awesome. First saddle deer too. So here is our second arrow right here, guys. And this is the one that deflected off the tree up there, it deflected off a branch and I completely missed the deer. Ugh. I'm gonna have some cleaning to do on the iron wheels. And then this one, that's our third shot. And that one was a absolute devastator. And that deer went maybe 15 yards second one about the same spot guys oh, mm. Mm. feels heavier I don't know that's two good does yeah that, that one uh, little fawn was standing there for so long, and I was like, eh, eh. All right, I want to show you guys something pretty cool. So we actually just got one deer clean. It's actually hanging up in here. We're going to let this deer age skin on for about a week and a half. And this is a deer that has been hanging for about that same time period. And you can see the crusting of the meat. You can see a little bit right there starting to turn brown. So we got one more deer to clean up. This is the one we had to track in a good ways. We're gonna eat tonight. Back straps, aged how long? A uh, week and a half. Week and a half. 
Oh my goodness, man! Gosh, this uh, this deer camp experience is just getting better and better. Alrighty, guys, we are going to sign it off for today's video. An absolutely amazing hunt. I got to break in the the core SS. Got two harvests. Ah, one of my favorite sits I've ever had. Uh, got to film some crazy bucks right under the stand. Had a doe at 12 yards, another doe at 20 yards that we made. We made, well, better shots than I thought, obviously. I had to track one a long ways. The other one went about 15 yards. Just so memorable. And tomorrow, we're actually going out to a new spot and we're taking the traditional. We're taking the recurve. If I can get a deer that comes in at 12 yards like this one did, it's gonna be amazing. So I'm sure we're gonna see a lot of deer on the next video, so stay tuned for more and smash that like button for a good, awesome harvest tonight. And thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you back in the outdoors on the next one.